Hello everyone, my name is Frasonis and welcome to the Arc Survival Evolved Building Tips and Tricks Department. In this video I'm gonna show you some advanced PvP building tips and tricks, so let's get started. Well, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can make the double foundations, the double walls and the triple walls, and also how to protect your foundations from explosions or that kind of stuff. So first I'm gonna show you some testing with explosives. Here I have put down an explosive and I have two foundations here and both of them are new the, as you can see here and here I put one on the top and I also put one on the wall so let's make them explode and let's see what the damage is it looks like the top one is not damaged and the bottom one is as you can see and here of course the top one is damaged but the bottom one isn't and it's the same wi with the walls, the outside of the wall or the outer wall is damaged and the inner wall is not damaged. So it's a handy trick to keep your base together and this way you can protect your base for much better so people will need more time to enter your base and I also gonna show you what will happen if you remove or if you remove yeah, if the top one is going to be demolished then the walls are going to be stand on a lower one and let me show you also what happens when you remove the lower one the top one will stay and the walls will also stay and let's get started with the double foundations well what you're going to do is uh, to look for a flat area and place a foundation and that foundation will be the middle of your base so that's our starting point and on that foundation you're gonna place a pillar right in the middle and then you're going to place a foundation on the outside but you want it to lower it down so you want a lower one because you, you need to place them lower and afterwards you can place them on top of it so you can do that all the way around just whatever suits you well I make a square so yeah, you have to see and yeah, decide for yourself what you make for it. I'll make a square of 5x5, five five, or 6x6 six six, I mean. So this this little PvP base will be 6x6. Six six. And after you've done it, you've done the, the lower ones. Then you're going to bring up the top ones. And you need to, to have a little bit distance. And it should work <laughs> as you can see here so just look at it and look a little bit up and you can place them oh I need more foundations so it can be a little bit finicky as always with building <laughs> so yeah you can do the same and I will complete this and I'll be right back well for the middle part you can remove the pillar you can remove this foundation if you want and then you can place a lower one and you can place another one on top so you have double foundations all the way around well as you can see the double foundations floor is ready now but you can also make it a triple foundation floor if you have the time the resources or whatever to do that so you have to take another foundation and take another pillar so you can place the next foundation even lower so you have to make another starting point point. and come on snap to it because I also want to show you even on triple foundation if the wall is placed on the top one it will even stay on the lower one and let's place a wall on the top one oh one higher yes so let's remove this one and let's remove the next one and as you can see it will even stay here on the lowest one so yeah that's all up to you you decide whatever you do a single foundation or a double foundation or triple foundation whatever you prefer and let's continue on with the walls for the outside of my base I'm gonna build triple walls and for that I need that foundations and you want it on the highest one on the highest foundation so not the lower one so again it's a little bit finicky and you place on the inside you're gonna place the fence foundations 
Oh. I want them all the same. So you have to be the same as well. So, just like that. And then you can place the walls. First place one on the attached foundation. Like that. Then you're gonna place one on the normal foundation. And yeah, as you can see, <laughs> it is finicky again. And sometimes it's a little bit annoying. Oh, come on. Like that. And the next one is on the fence foundation. Just like that. So you have triple walls, triple the protection. Yeah, and the attackers need triple more time or triple more explosives to get inside. So that's way better. And I'm gonna place it all the way around and I'll be right back. Well, I finished my triple wall all the way around as you see. And I leave these two foundations open because here I'm gonna put down the dino gates. Because I want to have a dino gate to enter my base. So afterwards you can demolish the tet floor. And as you can see the outer wall is floating but it sticks to the foundation. So that's good. So now you know how to make a triple wall. And you also know how to make the double foundations. So let's go on and let's continue on with the protection of the foundations. Now you have your double foundations and your triple walls. But you want some extra protection for the foundations. And to do that you need metal ramps. And you have to put them on the outside. This one is snapped to the fence foundation. And sometimes you have problem with uh, placing them. As you can see I have here. Well, this one is on the top foundation. And this one is on the lowest foundation. You want them at least on the top foundation or on the fence foundation. So let's place this one here. And let's place this one on the fence foundation. So your foundations are extra protected this way. But not in the corners. So for the corner part use the pillar trick I have shown in many videos. So just place a pillar and place a pillar down. Remove the ceiling. And the corner part of your foundations is also protected. So this covers up the extra protection for your foundations. So the yeah, the attackers have more problems bringing your base down and breaking in. So try to get it to snap to the fence foundation and otherwise to the highest foundation. And if that doesn't work then get it snapped to the lowest foundation. But I prefer to have it snapped to the fence foundation or the highest foundation. So you can do this all the way around and you have your foundations extra protected. Well I finished my placing the ramps and the pillars all the way around. So now my foundations are protected. And as you can see here it is nice and smooth and here it isn't. So yeah, sometimes the game gives you problems with placing the ramps, so you have to do what you can do. But now you know how to make the double foundation floor, how to make the triple walls on the outside, how to protect the double foundations with pillars and ramps. And in the next video I'm gonna show you how to place the dino gates and how to create an extra protection zone on the inside. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see more of me in the future and you haven't already, then smash that subscribe button like a maniac. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.